Hi everyone. Um, in this demo, I just wanted to quickly show you what I have been working on. So it's a prototype of a, a function that enables transclusion, or uh, better known as block reference, I think, in the um, Rome lingo. So on the right hand side, I have got notes, and then it's got a bunch of um, sections already, two sections. Um, and then the first section contains two subsections underneath. Uh, it doesn't matter what the second uh, section contains. So that's the structure. And then what I want to do is on the left hand side, I want to include the first section as a sort of transcluded uh, area into this. Yeah. So what we can do in the sort of standard org mode functionality is that you can refer to this particular um, section with the ID and then I can copy the ID and then paste it into the other note on the left hand side as a link so let me just try that and then um, sorry I'm gonna just um, invoke a function store link I just store this link and on the left hand side I'm gonna paste that in Boom. yeah so at the moment, it's just a link. It's just a normal um, org mode functionality. So I click on it, and I can navigate into the the linked note. I'm just going to go back to the um, buffer for the demo purpose. Right. So what then I want to show you is I created a custom uh, link type. At the moment, it's named as org roam uh, transclusion, and then do this. Yeah. And then um, with this, uh, now org roam knows that it's a special uh, link type, and then I activate the transclusion functionality. Um, I think I'm going to make it uh, minor mode later on. At the moment, it's just a function, but I just do it. And then if you do that, then uh, the bunch of um, hooks and other functions are activated on this particular buffer. So it's a local a buffer local um, function, or I'm going to make it a buffer local minor mode, and then it sort of pasted the content of this subsection, sorry, section, first section onto the uh, left hand side. Yeah, and as you can see, it's just a, a text copied onto, uh, onto the um, note. So you can do whatever you want to do, what, um, you know, whatever you want to do with um, org mode is just a text copied. And you can do normal operations. The difference is that. Um, it's got an overlay on top of it, so the um, buffer knows uh, what you're doing and also the where uh, the the element came from. So it's kind of linked, yeah. And then as you notice that because I referenced only to this section, um, the transclusion didn't bring over the second section named organ order, yeah. And then as you as you can already see, if I change the focus away from the transclusion buffer, um, it removes the uh, transcluded, copied, uh, transcluded um, text, right? So that way you can easily kind of work with um, multiple windows referencing the same, uh, multiple um, buffers or windows referencing the same um, uh, region or elements, right? So that's one thing. I wanted to show you, and so um, what then I can do is that I, as I said, this is just a normal text, so I can add a new section, right? And as you notice, that this is not real time synchronized, right? So at the moment, it doesn't do anything on the right hand side, the source uh, text, but you will see that I can transfer the edited uh, text onto the right hand side as well. So I, I am changing the transcluded text on the left hand side and then uh, what I want to do is save and then there will be a save hook uh, created or uh, in my case there's an automatic save happening so I think you can already see that new section has been added or um, it's also possible that you know you might be narrowing down to uh, other regions which is nothing to do with the left hand side or transcluded region but that's okay too I can also uh, edit the um, text on the left hand side and then if I s uh, I'm being added now 
I'm going to just save it, and you don't see it on the right-hand side immediately because you know you don't see it; it's hidden. But if I just widen it and um, move back to the section I edited on the left-hand side, you can see it. And then, um, so this is how you link uh, the two. Uh, the second thing I wanted to also show you is that if you change anything outside of the transcluded region, it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't affect anything. And I'm going to just change this here. And then just to show you what this means is that I'm going to uh, show you the the uh, different text editor to show you the text actually saved in the file system. So as you can see, I changed this and I added that, right? Um, but then the link here underneath, the transcluded uh, texts are not added. So in, in a way, this is dynamic, right? So before the save actually happens, I remove the copy text and then it, the source text here in the transclusion uh, buffer, you will only have the, um, the, the link itself, right? So you never uh, duplicate the text in the file system. It's only on the sort of dynamic uh, way of dealing with the untranscluded area. So that's another thing. And obviously, you can also uh, transclude the whole buffer. So I have another file. Let me just show you another file on the left -hand side, split in the window. So on the bottom side here, I'm going to open a, a second note. So uh, here I have a sample code, uh, you know, coming from the real note I've taken. And um, if I wanted to um, transclude the whole buffer, I can do so by um, including ORTC uh, custom link type. And oh, in this case, it's on the same uh, directory. So I can do notes to oh, hyphen to org. And I just uh, activate this by clicking on the link. Um, and then boom, you can also transclude the whole buffer onto this. And it behaves in the same way. Um, because also it's uh, just a text uh, copied uh, temporality, I can invoke, for instance, normal org mode um, function, let's say org edit source code for this uh, source code block. And then I can also change this in this way, uh, add link, sorry, add um, another list link, yeah, so list. So and then this is the content of the link and then put it back onto uh, the transcluded region. And then I save this. And as you can see on the right hand side, it's copied onto here, right? And then um, if, I, if I change, let's say, the first transcluded region at the same time without being, you know, save, without saving it. And I'm just going to add uh, something onto the second uh, transcluded region and save. And both um, source buffers will be saved at the same time. Um, yeah, so that's the one. And also you can see that here. So, and then, sorry, I mean, this is kind of, you know, changing the focus and then I'm removing, uh, but this removing text uh, benefits uh, you when you have multiple uh, buffers working so that there's no confusion which um, transcluded copy to be overriding the source. Anyway, so that's that. And uh, it's, so that's, I think, uh, it. And then if I deactivate the whole um, minor mode, at the moment it's not minor mode, but let's say it's a minor mode, and then it will just delete the transcluded regions and then keeping the links only. Obviously, that doesn't change the source. That has already been changed. Yeah, so that's how um, I designed it. Um, as you can see, it's it's not perfect. The UI, I think, needs a lot of work. Um, and also, I can still see that um, there are certain quirks that I need to fix. But um, if you like the idea or uh, where this is going, uh, or you have a you know sort of critique, or maybe you don't like it or whatever, um, I would appreciate your feedback, comments, maybe ideas. Uh, I guess we can work together, and I think I will be posting a quick write-up on the um, Orgrom discourse later, so um, I can see you there and then continue discussing if you like the idea. Um, I, I like what I have done so far. So if, if nobody 
likes it, that's okay. Um, I'm, I think I'm going to just use it for my personal purposes. But if this happens to be uh, promising for anyone looking at this uh, video, um, I would love to know that. And uh, we can work together to make it uh, uh, more viable product. Thank you very much for listening. See you later.